Military expert named next target for ATA CMS missiles. The Institute for the Study of War reports that the Ukrainian forces are already using ATA CMS missiles, which the United States secretly transferred to Ukraine. In addition to the attack on the airbase in Zankoy, there was an air defense strike near Berdyansk. The Charter 97 media outlet asked the Ukrainian military and political observer of the information resistance group Oleksandr Kovalenko to evaluate the results of the use of this weapon. This weapon is quite effective. When Zankoy was struck, later, a video of the Ukrainian defense intelligence was published, which captured the launch process itself. During the launches, it was noticeable that the Ukrainian forces used six ATA CMS missiles. Again, later satellite images of the airfield in Zankoy were published. Six strikes were recorded at the airbase, including a destroyed depot, a division of S-400 launchers and several radars. It turns out that all six missiles that were launched flew to the airfield and were not shot down. This demonstrates that the world unique S-400 system could not intercept a seemingly non-new ballistic missile, since in this case Block 1 was used, one of the first variations of the MGM-140 missile suitable for the M142 HIMARS M270. This is just ATACMS. The effectiveness of the strike on Zankoy, we can say, was 100%, he added. Ukraine, according to American media, already has 100 such missiles with a range of 300 kilometers. I can neither confirm nor refute this information, since I do not have data on the number of missiles available to Ukraine. But if they really are in such quantity, then in the near future, we will see strikes at the facilities of the Russian occupation troops in the temporarily occupied territories, Alexander Kovalenko said. According to him, the fact is that ATA CMS has several modifications with different warheads, cluster type, high explosive fragmentation, penetration, volumetric detonation, explosion in the air before collision and with the surface depending on which modification they are used for such purposes. I think that first of all, the emphasis will be placed on the destruction of the long-range anti-aircraft part of the Russians in the temporarily occupied peninsula of Crimea. It is those divisions where the S-400 and S-300 systems are in service that will be targeted, he added. The Israeli military discovered and destroyed several more underground tunnels during its operations in the Gaza Strip. According to them, these tunnels were used by Palestinian radicals. This was reported by the press service of the Israeli army to IT was noted that in general, the army destroyed more than 20 kilometers of tunnel in the central part of the enclave this time, the press service said that these underground communications connected the northern and southern parts of the enclave, but citing current and former US officials, the New York Times reported recently, that Israel has not been able to dismantle Gaza's extensive tunnel system that runs for hundreds of miles, at points, reaching 15 stories below ground. The system contains larger complexes of underground rooms, used for command posts, it added, despite Hamas's heavy losses, much of its top leadership in Gaza remains in place, ensconced in a vast underground network of tunnels and operations centers, the report said. Those tunnels will allow Hamas to survive and reconstitute once the fighting stops, the New York Times reported. This labyrinth of bunkers and tunnels, equipped with water, electricity and mechanical or natural ventilation, serves as a refuge for Hamas, but also houses command posts, ammunition storage, weapons workshops, and more. Above all, this network poses a permanent threat to the Israeli army, which can never be sure that Palestinian fighters will not emerge from the ground in the territories it has conquered. Russia's total combat losses in Ukraine from February 24, 2022 to April 25, 2024 amount to about 462,980 invaders, including another 1,040 troops killed or wounded in action in the past day. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine said this in a post on Facebook. According to the report, Russia has also lost 7,255 tanks, 13,942 armored fighting vehicles, 15,949 vehicles and fuel tanks, 11,836 artillery systems, 1,049 multiple launch rocket systems, 772 air defense systems, 348 airplanes, 325 helicopters, 9,449 drones, 26 ships and boats, and one submarine.
By comparison, around 15,000 Soviet troops were killed and 53,000 injured in Afghanistan during the Soviet-Afghan War, which lasted from nine years, from 1979 to 1989. This therefore suggests Russian casualties in Ukraine are around six times greater than those suffered by the Soviets in less than a quarter of the time. Tallies for Russian casualties have also been difficult to confirm throughout the war, and Ukraine's figures are higher than many other estimates. The Kremlin rarely releases its own numbers, and when it does, the figures are thought to be undercounted. Ukraine has not declared its official losses in the war.